Julia Strode and welcome to Straight Forward. Today I have a very, very special treat. The Honorable Congressman Lynn Westmoreland. <laughs> welcome, Congressman. Gloria, it's great to be back with you. I tell you, I am just so thankful uh, that you would take time. I know you're very busy. It's a lot going on in the 3rd Congressional District that you would take time and come back and visit with us again. The last uh -huh. time you were here, you educated the citizens. We uh -huh. learned that we could fly flags in honor of our veterans, anniversaries, right. and, you know, just a lot of important and useful information. Sure. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't realize that uh, if you don't tout your constituent services like we do, mm -hmm. a lot of people would never know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we, we try to get out and talk about it as much as we can. And, of course, we have it on our web page. Right. And so you have satellite offices. Uh -huh. Well, no, we only have one district office, but mm -hmm. what we do, we have mobile offices. Right, mobile, that's the yeah. term. So right. Colin or uh, James or whoever will go out into Thomaston, mm -hmm. uh, you know, LaGrange or wherever And then it they is. post that. They post. We'll be here for this yes. day, this time, and if yes, you need us. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. Yes, so those are the mobile offices yes, because I get your newsletter and so I can right. keep up with all yep. of that work that you're doing. And so what it does, it you know, allows us to go to the people rather than making the people come to us. Mm -hmm. And so it's been very successful. We do a lot of VA clinics uh, where we'll go out, bring people in from the, uh, the, the national VA mm -hmm. and the local VA hospitals. And and talk to the veterans and, and try to help them to understand yeah. what services are available. Because you know, we've made everything way too complicated now. Well, that's so, true. That's true. And so, what we try to do is to uncomplicate some of those things for people. And so, you have advocates that just going to walk them through it that's and explain right. it to that's, them. That's exactly um, right. In plain English, because <laughs> a lot you know, of times things are not right. in plain English. It's not calling one of these helplines where you can't even understand <laughs> Sam, what. Right. To, yeah. Right. So they're there to assist. Well, you've done a lot of things in the 3rd Congressional, and of course, um, we have some awesome pictures that we're going to be sharing through this interview. Sure. Uh, share with our audience some of the things that you've been working on, and where do you go from here? Because I know you're going to be retiring, yes, unfortunately, in <laughs> December. Uh, and of course, whoever the next person is, hopefully they'll pick that baton up and run as hard sure. as you. So share with us some of those things. Well... And I hope the next person will, mm -hmm. because uh, you know you you represent everybody in your district, not right. just a, a certain group. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And you know what we've been working on lately is uh, we've been doing some stuff on the appropriations bills. Uh, we just got passed an amendment on sue and settle, which mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people don't understand or have misunderstood. Uh, misunderstood. When these environmental groups go to, um, if they sue the EPA mm -hmm. over something, right, and the EPA settles with them mm -hmm. and says, yes, we're wrong, we will settle you, that actually creates a new precedent. Right. And so what the government has been doing is settling with these environmental groups mm -hmm. to actually get something the EPA wants. Oh, okay. And so, and then we end up paying the court cost and mm -hmm. the attorney fees mm -hmm. for the people suing the EPA. Mm -hmm. So the EPA is getting new rules that they don't have to go through the rules process. Mm -hmm. So long, I don't want to get too far in the weeds, but right. we got that passed. It'll save taxpayers millions of dollars, mm -hmm. and it'll also make the Environmental Protection Agency go through the normal rules uh, and procedures right. that you have to to get something, something passed right. and don't bypass the right. system. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. Just got to walk it through yes, like John Q. Public. So mm -hmm. we've been working on that. We continually to work on things. We've got a bill that's coming up that would help community banks. You know, this congressional district lost more community banks yeah. than any other congressional district. And mm -hmm. so... 
uh, we've got something there that's really going to help strengthen the community banks and their ability to. Those are the hometown help. banks. Yes. Instead uh, of the, the, yes, the, the bigger chain banks, is what I call the, them. These are the banks where local people have invested their retirements and their mm -hmm. children's college education fund, uh, life savings that were wiped out mm -hmm. uh, in this banking crisis. Mm -hmm. And so, what this bill will do is help protect those people and help these small businesses uh, be able to do business that they're being regulated to death with right now. Right, because I, I know uh, when we were growing up, it was CBNT, Columbus yep. Bank and Trust, and uh, my dad, that's the only checking account he ever had up nope. until his passing mm -hmm. last year at the age of 92. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the place you had your Christmas club where you yeah. put your money in and, and saved it. Yep. Uh, but now when we go with the larger banks, it's yep. different. You walk yep. in and you might know the people because you bank there all the time. Sure. But it's not like here in Columbus where people worked in the mill and they put their money in Columbus Bank and Trust. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, Columbus Bank and Trust uh, has been kind of a stalwart, you know, down here mm -hmm. for, uh, like you said, Decades. People. Decades. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah decades. really. I mean, yeah. you know, my, my daddy only did uh, business at CNS Bank. Right, and, CNS. Uh, and mm -hmm. so a lot of people get committed to those, especially in, in towns like Columbus or mm -hmm. Waycross or... And the you know, smaller communities. Barnesville or wherever it right. is. Right. And then Manchester was the Bank of Manchester. And right. the, the banker there, he passed away, was my father's childhood friend because he was from there. Oh, okay. And so uh, Mr. Robert Kellum, I will never forget that. And yeah. so when we would go back and visit family, he'd stop by the bank and speak to him. So that's what you all are trying right. to protect. Then. Well, what we're trying to do is to make that banker that knew your dad. Mm hmm to let your dad go in and shake that banker's hand right. and let that banker have the ability to make your dad a loan based right. on what he knows. Exactly. And to me, that's what a community bank is all oh, about. Oh, exactly. Yeah. It is. It's about the people in the community using our community mm -hmm. dollars to take care of each other. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, what we're going to do right now, Congressman, we're going to take our first break, go okay. to our sponsors, and then we'll be right back. Look forward to it. All right. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Chalk by Quincy introduces excellence redefined, tying pieces of the finest technology, luxury, and class with tons of style at chalklifestyle.com. Renal Associates, LLC, a team of physicians dedicated to excellent kidney care with five convenient locations to serve you. Stark Avenue, Columbus, Bradley Park, Columbus, Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, East Burkhalter Avenue, Buena Vista, and Springs Street in Warm Springs. Elite Ventures Leasing and Management, building wealth, protecting your investment is our business. Call today, 706-494-3876 or visit our website at EliteVenturesLeasing.com. Thai Thai Cuisine, the area's only authentic Thai restaurant, open for lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday, located in the Village Green Shopping Center on the 280 Bypass in Phoenix City. The military has been in every generation of my family, and so has VA. It wasn't easy for my dad after Vietnam, but VA helped him and my mom get the home they'd always wanted. My grandpa's been coming to VA since World War II, they even helped him lay to rest one of his battle buddies from Normandy. And me, I followed in their footsteps and served with pride. And now that I'm out of the military, the GI Bill's helping me with school. Every generation of my family has served, and VA has served us all. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. Back to straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with the Honorable Congressman Lynn Westmoreland. 
Congressman, I tell you, you have been on the ground, coming through the last time, visiting our soldiers, attending the graduation, the infantry museum, and we've had some changes there. Of course, everyone knows after a war period, you always downsize. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be leaving, hopefully the person that steps in your shoes will keep their eyes on Fort Benning because it is very important, not just to active duty, but to our veterans. Sure, no, the, the two things really, I think that if you, if you look at different parts of this district, mm -hmm. they have different needs. Right. And one of the things about Columbus is you have to pay spe special attention to the flow of the Chattahoochee River. Yes. That's Absolutely. That, a lot of people don't realize that is a big deal. It's a big water for fight. Columbus. We've yeah. had a long water battle, and a lot of times, John yeah. Q. Public don't understand no, that it's they been don't, a water but battle. That is a big, big concern mm -hmm. as far as discharging back into the river. Mm -hmm. The other thing is the military. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, I've been to a lot of places, mm -hmm. and the community that Fort Benning, the relationship that the community and Fort Benning had is hard to find duplicated yeah. anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's due to the, you know, the Synovus and the Tesis and Aflac you know, and the all Aflac, those. Mm -hmm. Yes, very much Aflac. And so, but they have got to concentrate on this base because we, this base has so many things to offer. Mm -hmm. We've got a 10,000 foot airstrip that's not really being used Lawson to- Lawson Airfield. Yes, mm -hmm. that's not really being used to its full potential. Mm -hmm. We've got the 75th Ranger mm -hmm. uh, Battalion here. Oh yes. Uh, we've got the third. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is to me, America's first place they could go when we have something happen. Oh yes. Anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And so they've got to pay special attention to that. We've been fighting and we've been really trying to work towards the next BRAC. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had some meetings in Columbus. We've had right. some of the Army brass come down. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about it, but they put $2 billion into the new ranges and to bring in the tanks uh, yeah, down. Yeah, some state-of-the-art things oh, uh, yeah. for it being. I mean, yeah. and, and they want to really expand mm -hmm. uh, the, the land area, but the military spent $2 billion, and I don't know what the community spent, mm -hmm. but I would imagine it's somewhere around a billion or two their self right. to bring in the infrastructure mm -hmm. to accommodate mm -hmm. uh, uh, what went on at Fort Benning and you know that was what less than three years ago, four years right. ago, mm -hmm. and we just don't need to flush that. Oh I no, mean, it's it's and, and it's And so totally we need to build on it, that, and right. that's what myself, Senator Purdue, mm -hmm. um, uh, Representative Bishop, mm -hmm. uh, and Senator Isaacson, especially mm -hmm. Senator Isaacson, since he does the VA mm -hmm. in the Senate. But we've been stressing that to. Everybody, we could stress it. Oh, well, to, we need to use it yes. because we built it, and it's—I mean, it's beautiful. And of course, oh, you go, oh, we've uh, seen it. My husband was at Kelly Hill, the 197th, right. in 1980, as a fresh lieutenant from West Point. Right. To see Kelly Hill now to what it was in 1980, yeah. <laughs> and all the rest of it—you know—it's it, just totally different. Yep. So are we just going more toward research and development, or what, what are we looking at? Well, no, I think, I think we've got to do more with the war fighter. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, um, the military is trying to go to a more technological warfare fighter. Right. Nothing mm -hmm. will ever replace right. boots on the ground. Absolutely. We're, Even in a campaign, no, boots no, on the ground always no, works. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so with our military and what, you know, uh, Fort Benning has had to offer mm -hmm. uh, as far you can't believe how many people in Congress went to boot camp at Fort, at Fort Benning. Oh, I, I can believe that. And uh, and so you know when we were trying to get the coin mm -hmm. done for Fort Benning for the uh, for the museum, right? I'd go up to somebody and say, "Hey, would you mind co-sponsoring this?" And they go, mm -hmm. "Oh yeah, I spent you know X amount of my Absolutely. life down there." So yeah, it's well known. All the but basic training. We, yeah. we train war fighters here. Mm -hmm. And regardless of how high tech 
we get with the way we, we uh, conduct wars. a war, mm -hmm. you still need that infantry soldier. Well, you do. And some things you can't replace the human. No. You still need that, that human. We can do things to help them, but we still need a human and to give the command and the next thing. We need to make the them the thing. best equipped, best trained people in the world, and they are. Mm -hmm. So what about the Infantry Museum? We love to brag on that. When I was oh, with the absolutely. Census Bureau, I mean, I was just tooting that horn because people come from all over the world just to go to that Infantry Museum. I don't think we publicize it enough. I don't think we do either. I really don't. I think know, in our I mean, little world we do, but I don't think out no, of broader. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of the military bases around should actually promote it more. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you, you take the soil that's come off of every battlefield mm -hmm. that we've been on. Yes. Uh, and, you know, you just take the IMAX film and, Isn't you know. Isn't that something? Uh, but, you know. And going into those old barracks buildings mm -hmm. and then, you know, seeing Eisenhower's. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the cat, uniforms are so the, funny. The uniforms. Yeah. I mean, this, to me, if I was a young man or young woman going into the military, I would want to experience that museum first mm -hmm. to get a, of course, if you've been to West Point, you right. know, you've done mm -hmm. that. But if you're just coming in, I, I think going to that museum would Kind it gives of you a good some of that visual, pride. Yeah, right, it does. A historical yeah. record, and you can actually see it up close. And you know, and Glory, we're not doing a good job with our children educating them on no. the sacrifices that our men and women have made to give us the freedoms uh, to be able to do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think we instill that. Because um, it's a big sacrifice when you mm -hmm. can sleep in the mud and you're in the rain and. You're eating uh, those rations out yeah. of the can. You know, it's just a lot of those things. Because my dad was World War II. Uh, of course, uh, now it's a new army. No, it's it is. It's a little more sophisticated. They don't have to eat those little rations. Sea rations. Right. That could probably last 100 years. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> right. Well, you know. the, but, you know, it, it, if you look at your military, you have generations. Oh, Yes. Mm -hmm. That had been in the military. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just, it, it's really sad that we don't see that sense of pride. And, well, and I not, think we have to. Our, not only our military, but our police officers. Well, that's true. I think we have to go back to civics, and I don't think no. we're teaching that in school. I think we kind of sidestep that. Well, what we're going to do right now, Congressman, we're going to take our final break. Go okay. to our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Right, thank you. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. <laughs> Straight Forward is brought to you by Warrior Outreach. Contact Command Sergeant Major Retired Sam Rhodes or Kathy Rhodes. Freedom Printing for all of your designer printing needs. Gunboat Plaza, Suite 18. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today in the compassionate and professional services provided. A touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generation. The third annual Whitewater Classic Saturday, September 10th, 2016, Garrett Harrison Stadium in Phoenix City. Don't miss the excitement as Albany State University and Tuskegee University battle it out to the end for the title of Whitewater Classic Champion 2016. For more information, go to pcwhitewaterclassic.com. Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment, and we have definitely had a remarkable return. I'm Drew Brees, and being a dad means the world to me. And one of the most important things any parent can do is make sure their kids get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life.
I'm continuing my conversation with the Honorable Congressman Lynn Westmoreland. Congressman, um, I learn so much every time you visit, and, and of course you're so easy to talk to, and, and that really makes a difference. Because we want people to know what is available. Um, you always say, and your staff, they project this, that you know who you work for. You work for the citizens. I work for the citizens. And that's Absolutely. what you expect for them to do. Um, but again, I'd like for you to share all of those things. I, I know you're going to be retiring. Um, so the next time when you come and visit, hopefully you'll have this brand new adventure and, <laughs> and then you'll have other stories to tell us. Um, but share with us, uh, once again, the things that families can do for their loved ones. Sure. We want to cover that. And then we want to spend some time on where do you go after December besides that vacation. I'm right. Sure you're gonna I, get that in. I got you. Well, you know, we do congratulations for birthdays of anybody that's over 90. Wow. Uh, anniversaries, I believe, is after 60 years, mm -hmm. uh, you can do that. We can fly a flag over the Capitol for anybody. Uh, we've done it for birthdays. We've done it for graduation. But you were telling me that if it's a veteran, like my if, father, World War II, we could have done it for free. I, we, our office will pay for it. The congressman's for office would pay for, for it. A, a wow. veteran's got to come up there, and, and we'll be glad to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just for a special occasion. I mm -hmm. mean, they, they may be retiring from the military. Right. I mean, we've done it uh, for some families um, that's actually lost right. a loved one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we do that. We have cookbooks um, that are for sale. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to have a charity auction or something, mm -hmm. getting you a cookbook it. signed by um, all the members. Really? Uh, yeah, we'll donate that to a charity that's, okay, that's like trying to do Hope it. Okay, like Hope Harbor here is a battered women's uh, shelter, yes. and they have a big fundraiser every year. So that's the kind of thing. That's the kind of that. a cookbook. It's uh -huh. a nice leather-bound uh, cookbook. Wow. Of course. We offer uh, tours of the Capitol if you mm -hmm. ever get to Washington, and we do a really, really good tour. We've got some uh, bright people in our office that know a lot about the history of that building. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go to our website. Okay. And, and they can and, find and, all and you, of those you things. You can find all that constituent services. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's my prayer is that for whoever does take this job, understand it's not about them. Hello. And it's not about what their desires are. Mm -hmm. It's about meeting the needs of the people mm -hmm. in the third district. Absolutely. So when you go on that adventure, whether it's to your private island, make sure you send me a postcard. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm sure your wife would probably love for you to just give her a little downtime because sure. how long were you in office? And that was back and forth between mm -hmm. home and in Washington. We were 12 years in D.C. and we were 12 years in Atlanta. So wow. we've had 24 years of uh, And so having to manage service. the grandchildren yeah. and weddings and I've had five grandchildren. Um, wow. And in fact, um, we were kind of going through our staff. We've been very fortunate. In the 12 years, I think I've had 28 staff members. And really? A lot of people have that in one year. I oh, mean, I'm just sure. Just the rotation. Yeah. But we've had, mm -hmm. we've had 15 children born to staff. Really? Uh, we've had weddings. Um, of course, we've we've had deaths that right. we've all. So know, it's actually tried. a family, an extended family. Absolutely. So you all have it, shared everything. It has been a family. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, so it it's just been something really neat for me and my family because mm -hmm. we've actually expanded that. Mm -hmm. But no, we you know we're going to take some time off and mm -hmm. we're going to talk about um, what we can do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get to a point to where you can only beat your head up against the wall so right. long. And, and you have to find a different yeah. way to serve well, the community. Well, we, we have yeah. been able to accomplish some of the things mm -hmm. that um, we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've been very active uh, as far as what the, the recruitment was for candidates. Uh, we traveled the, the country for that. You know, we... Uh, we did the redistricting uh, mm -hmm. with the states. I've been on intelligence committee, which has been, I've got to travel the world. and uh, Really? 
see some things I can't talk about. Exactly. I mean, I mean it's like having the best time of your life, but right. you can't, can't tell anybody. Can't tell anybody. Yeah. And I was very fortunate. I was on the Benghazi committee for two years. Really? Um, so you served worked. with the great people. People. Yeah, yeah. You were just not there hanging out, going to oh, the no. great restaurants. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were, we were working. You were and, working. And, yeah, and I, I just don't think people really appreciate. Mm -hmm the fact that you do work a lot harder than they ever imagined mm -hmm. you working. Mm -hmm. And right now with social media and, you know, everybody's got a camera, everybody's got oh, a phone. Oh, I know. Just a microwave and, generation. Well, it is, yeah, it is. No, it really, a, everything is so instant. You know, before it was like it takes time for right. it to be, you know, Dan Rather to tell the story. But now it's, you know, in that mm -hmm. social media, everything is just so, it's microwave, quick, quick, quick. Well, it is. And, you know, they're expecting you to uh, answer for what other people mm -hmm. are doing and have done. And, uh, and you so can I'm, only be accountable for yourself. You can only Even be Even your siblings. You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm one of four girls and we went to yeah. Carver, but... My sister is responsible for her. I'm responsible for me. Exactly. You know, and we just try to, you know, work together. Yeah, and people are so divisive now. They, mm -hmm. they just want to divide you, right. you know, and stuff. And so, you know, we're going to take some time off. And mm -hmm. then, you know, if I do anything else politically, it's going to be in the great state of Georgia. Absolutely. Um, and you have and to come back. You have we, to take my call because I will come there with my protest sign and say, we, I'm from Straightforward, remember yeah. me, yeah. Well, no, we got a saying in our office, anything for Gloria. All That's right, what anything saying. for Gloria, I love that. <laughs> and we have that on film now. Okay. Yeah. But just know that we are so very thankful for your hard work for the 3rd Congressional, uh, certainly for everything that you've done for our soldiers and our veterans uh, and our seniors. You know, we just have to learn to take better care of them. Mm -hmm. So people can reach you still through your website up until when is that last day? Uh, actually, um, uh, the new class will be sworn in, the new Congress will mm -hmm. be sworn in January 3rd, I think. Okay, so, so we, you can go yeah. right into the new year and then right you'll be the, able yes, to take a little time off and then let us know what the next adventure yes, is. And so we're still, you know, we're still going out and visiting, doing things like this. Oh, you're work to the end. We're going to do a radio show this afternoon mm -hmm. and so... Uh, we're still doing these things. I hadn't, I hadn't left. I'm still. Oh no, you're gonna I, work I, because I, that's how that's Georgians. Yeah, we're gonna work I, to the end. Yeah, until so the sun sets. That's Absolutely. It. That's it. Well, yes, uh, give our best to your wife and your family, and I'm sure she's excited about the next adventure. And you can get that honey do list done. Well, and, yeah, she's <laughs> been working me pretty hard the last week. Right. Yeah. But I thank you so much for taking time to come well, and visit you. with me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. No, ma'am. Thank you for what you do. All right. Thank you. This has been Straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed.